Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file. They're calling these red ears along this text, and I do not know what they're for, but it doesn't really matter. He's having trouble with the blend tool. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'm going to left click, right click, and make an outline. And we can do this two ways. We can break the, matter of fact, let's hit the plus key on the keyboard and move this other copy up. And let's take this one and do it all at one time. I think you have a little bit more control if you do them separately, but we'll see. I just made a duplicate of that. Doesn't really matter how far apart you put them. Go to effects and blend, open up the blend doctor. We're gonna blend them 200 times. We're gonna go down here to new path and we're gonna put it on the path. We're gonna go blend along full path and rotate object. And there we have it. Now, as you can see, they're kind of sticking up or they're in the middle of the line. We can fix that, but we're gonna do one letter at a time now. And if when you're doing this, it'd be so easily to just hit the plus key in your keyboard, and make a couple of copies of your boy of your two objects, so you don't have to mess them up. This time we're going to go break that word apart, and we're just going to do the E. So I'm going to select the two. This time I'm going to blend 45 times, let's say, and you would have to change that. Go down here to blend along new path. Blend along, along full path and rotate. And that might be too many. So that's kind of cool because you can always just go downhill to 40 and hit apply and get where you want them. Now, let's say that's not uh, good enough because we want that on the edge. Well, let's go to effects and contour. Let's contour to the outside a half inch with that. That might not even still be enough. Let's go three quarters of an inch, 0.75. Let's go break the contour apart. This time we're gonna use the contour of our line. So we're gonna take both items and blend them together. New path. We're gonna put them on our contour. We'll blend them 45 times like we did. and hit apply. And now, and I'm pretty close. Now, if we take the contour line away and hit delete, well, what I gotta do first is go to object, break the blend apart, and then grab just that line, which is our contour line. Now these are right on the edge. And like anything you're blending, nothing's gonna be perfect. But once you get these and go to object, and I don't, uh, it's always neat to know what people are doing, but you, you know, you can move them down, move them around, you know, maybe make these more even, um, you know, make these on top of each other. Uh, if we take the E and go to object and lock it so we can't grab it, grab those two and hit, We'll hit C to center them. You know, make it maybe look a little bit more uh, uniform. I don't, it'd be neat to know what he's doing. See, here's one even here on this edge. And then if you set your nudge factor pretty low, you could move those around. I don't know what, it, what kind of look he's looking for. But that's how I would do it. Now, if you're going to do one letter at a time, let's back up here. Well, we don't have to do that. We're gonna do an N and a T. We're gonna to go to object and convert it to a curve. We're gonna go open up a Windows Docker's properties. Windows Docker's properties. And we get this right here. This is 124.6, okay? This one, if we convert it to a curve, is 86. So if you did the math and you, uh, okay, let's go back to 124. Let's say 
we need half of that. Um, that's really 125. So, well, let's go 125 divided by two is, my calculator didn't come up. 125 divided by two is 62.5. So if we take our, I'm gonna have to close some of these so we can see if we take our blend and we do 62.5, hit apply, go to new math, or new math, new uh, path, and then if we take, then that's way too many, but if we take the T and we've got, open that docker back up, well, maybe I closed it, windows, dockers, properties, no, I've still got properties open, it must have just been hidden, windows, dockers, properties, if you remember, this curve is only 86.4, so let's make it, it'd be 43 blends. So let's grab this, blend it 43 times, or roughly. Go up to new path, hit it on the T, blend along full path and rotate. So you should have about the same amount of ear. Now, from his drawing, we got a lot more than he wanted, but you can see they're pretty equal. That's probably the advantage of maybe doing the whole thing. And let me back up here, and because I've used all my blends. Let's take, take our word here and turn it into a curve, or no, we don't want to break it apart. We want to turn it into a curve. And then we'll select it, open the Docker back up for properties. And we have a curve that is 851. So we do 425 blends now. Let's, whoop. Let's grab the two blends, 425, hit apply, blend along full path, put on the path, rotate and rotate all objects and blend on full path. We're gonna have about the same as we did on this. Now, you know, just like before we need to, uh, and I don't know if he wants the ones on the inside. You know, I, I still don't know what he's really getting with, with this tab, break blend apart, group and ungroup all. I'm pretty sure if he doesn't want the center ones, you could just delete them. And this would be a good reason to use the freehand pick tool. Well, we're gonna be grabbing that. So what you're gonna to wanna to do in this case is try to set your nudge factor on something bigger than that. Because we need to really lock it. Try to get the pick tool back, get off our item. Let's See how big these O's are, well, 23 inches. So let's make our nudge factor 25. Let's grab the lettering and nudge it down. Now we can take the freehand pick tool and go around and get rid of these interior ones and then nudge that back up. Because I, I don't, once again, I, he did me a good. He did a good job explaining what he needed, but I still don't know what the ears are for. So there's two ways to do it. But if you want them on the outside, don't forget to contour like we did there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.